Alright, getting ready to start Journal Smash. Mm -hmm. Celestial Art Journaling. Oh, there's the notification. Let me get my tablet set up so I can see the comments. camera is upside down. Not sure how that happened, but we'll give that a little turn so the words are the right way. All right. Hi, Sherry. Okay, take your time. I'll wait a few more minutes till a couple more people get on anyway. Hi, Kate. You found me. All right, so before we get started, I'll just explain a little bit what uh, Journal Smash is or the art journaling is. So I have uh, an art journal here. I decorated the cover, but you can pretty much use anything um, let's see, I should have had some samples out, but anywho, okay, so this is just a sketchbook I got at Half Price Books, and, um, I use this for art journaling. Art journaling can really be any combination of journaling and arting, so if you're more of a writer, um, or need to get your thoughts out on paper, you can do that. If you are more of um, needing some creative time and just want to work on some art, you can do that as well. But uh, the possibilities are endless. And I think it's fun to create in a journal um, because they're inexpensive and you can do all kinds of creative things. And if you mess up, it's just one piece of paper, you know? Um, so it's low pressure to create in a journal. But, um, okay, so that was just a sample of a sketchbook that I used. Um, let's see. I have a little watercolor pad that I just bought that I'm excited to use. Um, oops, forgot to turn my cell phone off. Uh, but you can really use anything, any size that's convenient. I have this big old honkin' book that I like to use. And this is what I uh, set aside just for my um, art journaling. So, um, I've got all kinds of spreads. Some are just one-sided. Some um, go across the page. But all of these were prompted, so I started without really um, any vision and then uh, pulled prompts to help guide me through. Over time, I have uh, changed the way I do this a little bit just because um, some things work better than others. So, let's see. I'm going to get to a clean page here. Um, I used to start working. And then I've got these prompts here. And so what I do is just kind of flip through and randomly pick one. Hi, Mertis. Um, and that has worked, but when people participate with me, they've had a little difficulty like having to run and get different supplies or um, whatnot. So I started pulling them um, at the beginning and I think that works better because they're still random but that way um, we can kind of work um, work them in however it works best for our piece and so uh, you can journal with me two different ways you can either follow along exactly and try to replicate what I'm making or um, you can work on the prompts and interpret them however you want, and both ways are okay. Uh, Kate, I, um, some of the prompts I made up by myself, um, some of the prompts came in, um, I have an intuitive art book. 
I have no idea where it is or I'd grab it and show you. Um, but it uh, gave some prompts and I thought they would be fun in here. And then um, there is another artist named Effie Wild who does um, some art journaling. She had a few prompts that I borrowed and um, so it's kind of a mix of uh, what other people have come up with and then what I've come up with and I added some that use kind of my favorite supplies so it's a little bit of everything. Um, let me reorganize here. So the prompts that I pulled tonight are finger paint, use tape, add handwriting, add overlapping circles, swirl, and use purple. So uh, I'm going to use them in my order, but I mean I just randomly pulled them. So they can be done pretty much in any order at all. So let me see if I can put these out where the camera can see. All right. Um, so those are the prompts there. Um, what I did today after I pulled the prompt is prompts is I kind of ran around my room and gathered up some supplies. So I knew uh, use purple was one of my prompts. So I grabbed some paint in different colors, um, just kind of some jewel tones here. Um, any paint will do. And um, one of my prompts was use tape. So I got some washi tape. Uh, really, you can use any kind of tape. Um, I like to use this painter's tape. Um, sometimes you can kind of mark things off with that and then peel it up. Um, I mean, you can tape things on with scotch tape. You can interpret these prompts any way you want using the supplies that you have around your house. So don't feel like, oh, I don't have what she has um, because you can, you know, find whatever tape you have around the house. I mean, you could even use drywall tape. You can use anything and just find a creative use for it. So um, one of my prompts was tape. Um, and then usually what I'll do is just grab a stencil and a stamp. I, I don't always use them, um, but I just grabbed two stencils I had and then um, I've had these stamps that are uh, the constellations. I've never used them. If I can work them in tonight, I will. And um, I have a giant bag of, actually I have several, of just scrap paper and stuff. So whenever I'm looking through a magazine or um, I use paper, like scrapbook paper, um, whenever I have stuff left over, sometimes I cut up cards um, I just keep random bits so I just gathered up some stuff I thought would go with it um, here's some tissue paper pieces here's some ripped book pages um, let's see so these are just oops I think a few of you guys did the um, what was that when we had the Dance Flash Fusion night, we made those um, chrysanthemum flowers. That's what this thing is from. So I've just got little random rips and papers and whatever. And by no means do I use all of this, but I just kind of gather it up and then go with it. Um, oh, did I have a celestial napkin? Awesome. Yeah, I, I just randomly collect stuff. So napkins and, and things like that, if, if people have parties sometimes, you know, when they have napkins set out, I'll just snag one and I'll bring it home and I'll art with it. <laughs> um, I'm going to use both sides of my spread. I'll try to get as much of it on the camera as I can, but um, let's get started. Hi, Karen. 
Uh, first, what I like to do is just kind of get a little bit of a, a base on my journal. Just some way to start. So, um, since I have to use purple tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with that. This is called purple pizzazz. It's a really bright purple. And apparently I don't have very much, but I'm just going to start. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just make some stripes across my page here with a brush. Hi, Gerilyn. I'm going to start with purple and I'm going to make some wavy stripes, but um, do whatever you want to kind of start a base. Sometimes I take inspiration from other things. So like while I was looking through the paper, I saw this and um, I didn't want to just cover my journal with that paper so I'm kind of just taking inspiration from it a little bit and coming up with this background here. But one of the best parts about art journaling when people participate with me is how many different ways um, these journals turn out with the exact same prompts and a lot of the same supplies. You can change things so much. So you do you. And kind of the trick here is just to figure out how to work in all these prompts. And I'm not being real careful with my stripes just because I know a lot of this is going to get covered up as we work through these prompts and do different things. So this is just kind of where I'm starting. Okay, so I did my used purple. Now I have to think of what to do next. Before I do anything too crazy, I like to be comfortable with my base so I can kind of get a direction of where I'm going. So I think I'm going to do the add overlapping circles. that I'm just looking for something with a cap I can stamp with. Let me think here. This is a jar. I've just got Mod Podge in here. If I can I'm just going to steal this cap and I'm going to use it to stamp. Just because that will satisfy my overlapping circles prompt. So, um, let's see, I'm going mm, to use a bright blue for that. And so just to stamp with this, I'm just dipping it in some paint.
and I'm not too worried about it being perfect. And I'm just going to add some circles on here. Uh-oh, was anybody else having trouble hearing me? Maybe I was just mumbling. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Or a comment. Okay, good. There's a bit of a delay, so it takes me a minute after you guys comment <laughs> before I can see it. Welcome back, Kate. Okay, so the prompts that I used so far are used purple. I just made some stripes and then add overlapping circles. I did that in a bright blue. I think now I'm going to, um, I'm going to go rogue here. I'm not going to use a prompt. I'm going to add kind of a glaze on this just to give some more color to that background. So I'm going to take some, I've just got some acrylic paint and I'm going to mix it with water. And then I'm going to paint uh, leaving the inside of my circles empty. So I've just got this purple and I'm going to add water until it's nice and thin. And that'll make a glaze that I'll be able to see through. I'll be able to see what's underneath, but I'll still be able to add the color. I'm just going to glaze over what I have and I'm going to leave the inside of the circles open. So far the prompts I've done are use purple with the stripes, overlapping circles, um, I stamped with the bright blue, and then I guess um, kind of 2.5 is add some glaze. That was just a, a random mm -hmm. choice.
Kate, the glaze is just um, acrylic paint mixed with water. And I just mixed it up until, um, and I kind of tested it out until I could see through it when I painted. So there's no specific formula. It's just kind of a, a little bit of acrylic paint and a little bit of water until you're happy with it. Running low, so I need a little bit more. I really like when I'm doing these backgrounds in my art journal to just keep layering and layering. When I think I'm done layering, I try to add just a little bit more. Just a second to dry. My son sent me a text asking for money, so I guess I'm going to give him a little bit. He's out eating after a wrestling tournament tonight. Alright, let me think of what prompt I can use now. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. Sherry said, or she mentioned having some of that, um, this is, I called Punchinella, uh, but it's basically the leftovers from sequin making, and sometimes you can find this in rolls of ribbon. And I love it. I love it. So I'm going to use that to add a little, a little zhuzh on here. Since I know she's got it, I thought that would be fun. So um, if you don't have this, you can use any stencil. Another fun thing to use as a stencil is... Um, like a, a potato bag like you would get at the grocery store with your um, potatoes in it or an onion sack. Um, let me think, what else could, could be used? Um, really anything with texture, with holes, um, you could use. But what I'm going to do is kind of just add a little bit of 
a little bit of something. I'm going to use light purple. This color is called Wisteria, and I'm just going to stamp this on there. So I've just got a, well, maybe I'll use a bigger paintbrush. That one's too small. You can use a flat paintbrush or like this is just a round stencil brush and I think I'm just going to tap some texture in there. And so it just kind of looks like that after you use it. with your finger using this stuff in different ways will give you kind of a different look but there's no there's no rules there's no rules in art you can just do what you like and uh, finger painting is one of the prompts so there you go in my art journal I like to make sure here and there I just go off the page a little bit just I think makes it feel like it is bigger like it continues I messed up my prompts here, but they are use tape, finger paint, add handwriting, add overlapping circles, use purple, and swirl. Right now I don't think any of those are resonating with me, so I think I'm going to use um, some glue and some Mod Podge and just add some paper. these circles that I cut out. Actually, they were already cut. I found them like that. So I think I'm going to add these large circles. Um, if you don't have Mod Podge, an easy Mod Podge recipe is just regular Elmer's glue, 50% glue, 50% water, and you can use it just like Mod Podge. Or, I mean, you can just put some glue on. Oops. And I'm adding the paper. I think what I'm going to do today in my journal is where I'm adding this paper. I'm going to do some writing. So I'm actually going to use this page as a journal page. Oops. 
two. This one is has two sides. It's got kind of a floral pattern and then like a watercolor brush stroke. Which one should I use? What do you think? Floral brush strokes. Anybody have any thoughts? Floral! Hi, Linda! All right, I'll use the floral. I had one vote for floral three votes for the watercolor but I saw Linda first so I'm going in with the floral and then I think what I'm gonna do I've got four circles I like to do things with odd numbers so I'm just gonna cut another smaller circle to glue on here and then I'm going to Mod Podge it all. And this paper was kind of fun. It was like, um, almost reminds me of Sacred Geometry a little bit. So... So far, this is not looking very celestial, which was our theme tonight, so I'm going to have to work that in somehow. But now that I've got these on here, I'm going to, I've got glue on the bottom, I'm going to Mod Podge on the top. this Mod Podge mixture just kind of seals it all in. You could just as easily without mixing water spread some thick glue across the top and it would do the exact same thing. When you're art journaling or really when you're doing anything super important to be forgiving and kind of go with the flow um, a lot of times I try to not use the word mistakes because it's just the art materials doing what they do so like up here I smudged my circles I'm cool with that I don't need things to be perfect I'm not perfect life's not perfect why should my art journal be perfect I think it's more fun when it's kind of got that um, imperfect look to it anyway. So the theme tonight uh, was celestial and you can incorporate that any way you like. Um, I found this uh, moon paper. Uh, it was ripped up. I don't have any more of it other than this big strip. So I think what I'm going to do is just rip this 
um, in half again and maybe put this on here. I'm going to use a ruler and just kind of tear it. like the way torn paper looks so I tear paper a lot I'm just gonna glue it on and when I'm working at the bottom here let's see if you can see it um, I'm just gonna glue this strip of paper on and then I'll Mod Podge it but I'm not even cutting it. I'm just going to tear the end here. Because why not? running out of space on my desk here but I've got the tiniest house on the planet so this is the space I have and nothing's gonna change that move these prompts because I messed them all up um, so if, if you guys are working through the prompts they are use purple which I did in the stripes. Add overlapping circles, which I did with a lid and some bright blue. Um, and then impromptu, I added a purple glaze and I added some paper circles and I added uh, some torn paper with the moons on it to bring in the celestial theme a little bit. And um, it says use tape, so um, I've, I pulled out these three washi tapes, but I think I'm going to go with just the blue, because I've got these blue circles, and I didn't, I didn't add blue anywhere else. So, let's see here. Just... You know what, this tape is not going to do any good because my journal is wet. So I need to dry that before I do anything with the tape. Okay, so I'm going to use, I have a hair dryer, and I'm going to turn that on, and it's going to be really loud. So I am going to turn off my microphone right now to spare you the pain, and I will be right back.
right, I'm back. As soon as I turned that darn thing on, my prompts went flying, which happens to me every time I do art journaling on Facebook. Um, I know one was finger painting and one was, what am I missing? Overlapping circles were the two that fell, so. Now I'm going to add some tape on here. I'm just ripping this. I'm going to put it around these circles. Right, so that was another one of the prompts. Use tape. Um, I did overlapping circles. Use purple. I'm going to see what else I can find in my stash of junk here. Um, I still need to add handwriting. I've got this paper here, and I don't want to add a whole lot of this darkness, but I think I'm going to cut some of these moons out. Sherry, that sounds so pretty. I cannot wait to see it. Ooh, I have tissue paper around here too. Maybe I can do something with that. paper's thick, so I need to weigh these down a little bit till they stick. I'm going to go pick up those prompts I dropped. Because I'm a scatterbrain and I will forget what they say. So, I 
know I list the prompts off quite often, but people come and go on the live, so just in case anybody's popping in. The six prompts I chose were finger paint, use tape, add handwriting, swirl, use purple, and add overlapping circles. All right, I'm gonna do the finger paint next. And I'm going to use this turquoise blue. It's a little different than the bright blue I used, um, but it kind of matches this tape. So I'm going to finger paint with this. And I think I'm just going to add some more lines around my, you know what, maybe I'll, I'm going to add kind of a halo around these circles. Just kind of adding smudges here and there. And one thing that makes finger painting really easy is having baby wipes. I have never stopped buying baby wipes and my kids are 12 and 14 so um, I use them all the time in art because they are magical. All right, what prompts do I still need to do? I used finger paint, I used tape, um, I did overlapping circles, and I did purple. So I still need to add handwriting and swirl. All right, so I already have a plan for the handwriting. I'm going to write in these large circles here. Um, I don't know what I'm writing but I'm writing. Um, and I think I'm going to write, I've got, I love using gel pens. So I think I'm going to grab some jelly pens and write with those. I'd like to write in gold. I don't know if I'll be able to see this gold when I write in it though. Let me test this. on a scrap piece of paper. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really see the gold, so maybe no gold. I'll do white, purple, and magenta. And uh, when I write, I just kind of go for it. So um, a lot of people hate their own handwriting. And um, I encourage people just to use your own handwriting. 
uh, because nobody else writes like you. Uh, nobody else can ever duplicate what you do when you use your own handwriting. It's personal. Um, I'm sure it's beautiful. Everybody uh, feels like their own handwriting could improve, but um, a lot of times other people look at it and think it's fine. So I encourage you just to go for it, especially if you're working in a journal because it's your journal and it should reflect you. Um, so... I'm just going to add some, some little notes in here. I'm trying to think of what to write. Just doing some scribble writing on this one. Um, kind of an easy way to do scribble writing is just um, not to, now this says something, but when I'm done with it, I can't really read what it says. Um, it's just for visual appeal. Um, when you do scribble writing, an easy way to do it is to not leave spaces between your words and then squish your lines together so that they overlap. So. What this says over and over is aim for the moon, but you really can't read it.
This one here says the stars will guide you. Find your purpose and search the skies is what I wrote. So that prompt was handwriting. You can add handwriting to your piece any way you want. And then the last prompt that I need to do to finish is swirl. I do have this stencil and it is swirly. I'm not sure if that would be too much. Thank you, Gerilyn. Is it Gerilyn or Jerry Lynn? I hate mispronouncing names. I think I am going to use this stencil. I was hemming and hawing about it. So I'm just going to go for it. Because I buy so many supplies and never use them. Now I have a reason. Alright, so I have a stamp pad. Um, I'm just going to stamp right over the top of this. Let's see what that does. Gerilyn. Jer Gerilyn. That is not really doing what I want it to do. So, scratch that. I'm just going to use paint. I'm going to go with that light turquoise. I'm just going to stamp like I did earlier. Ew, that's wet. Why is that so wet? microphone there. So that is my swirls. 
And I'm going to add more swirls because I like swirls. So the next thing I'm going to do with swirls is just add some with a paintbrush. gold. We got some gold in these moons. So I like to tie in colors that I've already used to kind of keep my palette from getting too crazy. So I'm going to add some just a smidge of water. Sometimes metallic paint can be metallic acrylic paint can be a little thicker than the regular colors just because it's suspending that mica powder in there so um, I want to thin it out so I can get some nice smooth swirly strokes so I think I'm just going to go in with a thin paintbrush and add swirls wherever I need some color Of course, I did my first one off screen, so that makes no sense. Okay. So this is another way to do swirls. Just paint them in there. You can also do it with a pen, with a marker. Doesn't have to be paint. I don't know, I was going to add another one, but I'm pretty happy with these, so I think I'm going to leave it like it is. to go along with the celestial theme I'm going to add some stars I'm going to use the gold paint but I think I'm going to add them with white first just to make that gold a little brighter and I'm just going to use a paintbrush I'm going to make the stars look white that'll dry and then I'm going to go back over it with the gold. Oops. Ew, this has got black in it. How did I do that? Oh, that's not black. That was the purple. I put my white right on top of the wet purple. That was not my smartest move. now realizing I didn't turn on any music. It's so quiet in here. Except for my rambling, I guess. So 
I'm just adding stars. I'm kind of just doing um, a plus, like a plus sign, and then adding an X through it. That gives me the impression of a star. All right, so I've used all my prompts. I'm just going to finish up these stars, and from here on out, it's just, I don't know, intuition. Whatever my intuition tells me to do, I'm just kind of finishing it up. So I'm adding the gold. The stars. Ooh, I know what I want to do now. Sherry mentioned tissue paper. I'm going to find some tissue paper. I know I pulled some out. I'm just going to add some tissue paper on here. Um, and I'm going to add it over where I have the white to kind of cover some of that white up. So I'm just going to use my Mod Podge and some tissue paper. And see what happens. At this point in the evening, you can always stop when you feel like your lesson, or your, I'm sorry, not really a lesson, but you can always stop when you feel like your journal page is complete. Just listen to your inner voice and it'll tell you, keep going, it needs a little something, or... I'm just going to add some random bits. When you work with tissue paper, the more you add, the more color you'll get. I just am kind of adding a real thin layer just trying to get rid of some of that white there
I love adding tissue paper and napkin kind of does the same thing where it's just super transparent so it just adds just a little something um that's a good question Linda yes and no um Mod Podge is cheap it is not archival, so you wouldn't want to use it like if you're um, going to sell a piece or it's something you want to keep. Um, it will yellow over time. Um, so, you know, like in 20 years, my journal might yellow a little bit. That doesn't bother me because it's an art journal, but it would super bother me if it was something I was hanging on the wall or trying to sell. Um, Collage medium and uh, matte medium. Collage medium is probably the same thing. I'm sure there's just different ratios of glue and water um, between brands and that kind of thing. Matte medium and gel medium are usually archival and um, better quality. They won't yellow, um, but there's not a whole lot of difference. It's really the same art supply, just in different um, different ratios and that kind of thing. Um, but Mod Podge is, I use it a lot just because it's cheap and easily available. So. Yay, I super like this. I think the last thing I'm going to do is just add some splatter. Um, I've got some of this dark navy blackish color in here with the moon. And I think I'm going to splatter some navy and black on my page. So I'll show you how to do the splatter. If you have not splattered before this is super fun it will sometimes tend to get everywhere but um, okay so when I do splatter what I like to do is get some paint and mix it with a lot of water And then, so I've got my paintbrush with the liquid on it, and I'm going to take another paintbrush and just tap it so that it makes some splatter marks. So there's a little bit of the black. I'm going to do some of that navy. also kind of throw your brush a little bit if you want the splatter to be more like paint splatters and less like splotches. All right. I think I'm satisfied with how my journal turned out. Uh, what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to turn off my mic and I'm going to blow dry this and then I'm going to show you how I seal it uh, with a tea light candle. So bear with me while I dry it.
back this is pretty dry I just wanted it to be completely dry so I can show you um, how I seal anytime I work with an art journal um, I seal it uh, I do not like to um, use varnish and I don't like to use Mod Podge in an art journal because it makes the pages stick um, when they're sitting a while especially in the summer so what I do is I use the tea light candle and I am just gonna rub this wax all over my page here This might be one of my favorite tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, these are super cheap. You can literally get a pack of like a bajillion at the dollar store. And they work so well. Um, you can do it over pretty much anything. So um, I'm going to do one page and show you the difference between sealed and unsealed and then I'm going to do the other page so what I did was rub I rubbed the wax all over everything um, now I am going to turn my blow dryer on again and um, I'm gonna melt the wax actually let me lower my camera hold on a second while I make an earthquake here It's just a tea light candle just a, a normal little tea light um, so I've got the wax wet on here by using the hot blow dryer and then I'm just taking a paper towel and wiping the excess off so this kind of gets it all into the paper into the artwork and then makes the surface nice and smooth so that's it, easy peasy. And as you can see, it adds a little bit of sheen. But that'll keep the pages from sticking together and it seals everything in. So if there's anything that's water soluble, um, like watercolor or the, the gel pen that I used, if it gets wet, if anything um, happens, it'll seal it in. So um, yeah, I do this with just a tea light. Um, that's all really that I'm going to do with mine. Um, I would love, love, love it if you guys would share your work with me. So um, you can either post it and tag uh, the Painted Cicada or at Painted Cicada on Twitter and Instagram. Or you can email me a picture and I can share it on my page. But I would love to see what you guys made. My favorite thing about art journaling is seeing what other people come up with using the same inspiration and prompts. So I'm just going to finish up this page and then I'll turn off the live. Good night ladies! Good night everybody!